Alright, so just a couple hours ago, we got a brand new trailer for Sonic Frontiers. So I'm going to play that real quick, and then I'm going to talk about it. endanger the world. Alright, so first off, what I thought was interesting is this little Coco guy. That's what they're named, if I'm not mistaken. And they're kind of reminiscent of uh, Koroks from Breath of the Wild, so yeah, that's interesting that they're copying even more from that game, but it's not that big a deal to be honestly. And then you have an enemy about to murder it, good god. Sonic saves it, as any good Samaritan would. And I've got to say, the CG does look quite nice in comparison to the Sonic Forces trailers. So yeah, cyberspace. I'm not a big fan of how basic the level design seems to be, and I'm also not a big fan of the um, of the reused level themes. Uh, it's just kind of lazy. Maybe not lazy, because I'm not a game developer, I don't know. But it just, it just seems like they don't have any new ideas other than this little city level. But again, they're definitely holding out. Hopefully there's more new level themes. We also get to look at a brand new island, which seems to be like desert themed, so that's pretty cool. Uh, we already heard about this in the uh, 4chan leaks, so that's whatever, but yeah, we don't get to see a lot of it, which is my problem. Uh, I wish they would show us more, like obviously this is supposed to be like a shorter trailer, so that's fine, but I wish they would show us more, it's definitely very teasy. And we also get to hear a new snippet from uh, Roger Craig Smith. This is definitely Roger Craig Smith, it's not some other voice actor, like Sonic Twitter is acting like it might be, that's stupid. Just take a listen. Mimi, is that you? Yes, it, it's definitely Roger, there's no doubt about it. He's literally just talking in a softer voice. Like that's just what happens, you sound different when you talk in a softer voice, that's most definitely Roger. Let's not freak out. We get to look at some combat in the desert area. Uh, yeah, there's th there seems to be like different sections of desert. Like this seems to be more like in a sandstorm, while this just seems to be like more open-ended, I guess. Not open-ended, but seems to be like a clearer time of day. It has been revealed that there's day and night cycles, so that could be part of it, maybe? We also get to see this like almost kind of like a double team like from Pokemon but obviously it's something different because it's Sonic but yeah there seems to be like these 10 balls floating around Sonic and he uses them as an attack so that's interesting I don't think he's ever done that before in the franchise actually uh, maybe in like Sonic X or something but I don't know we also get to see this boss fight um, seems to be like some like robot sand monster I don't know uh, this like electrical fence arena is kind of weird I don't know why I trapped him in we also get to see this boss that we've seen from the Gamatsu videos, so that's pretty cool. Um, yeah. As we can see, Sonic has like some sort of red artifacty look on his arm, so maybe he got like attacked and infected with something. 
Though it does go away, so it's probably temporary. And as we can see, Sonic is ready to beef with a little girl, so... Yeah. And this is the shot we already saw from Nintendo Direct. Forge a new frontier. You can see Sonic Frontiers coming out on everything November 8th. Let's quickly go over the pre-order bonuses. So, pre-order now and receive the Adventurer's Treasure Box with things that are completely inconsequential and are not necessary at all. I mean, I would rather pre-order bonuses not be necessary at all, obviously, but... I don't know, this is kind of a stretch. We've heard rumors of a skill tree in the game, so this is probably part of that. Like, blue seeds of defense, red seeds of power, and skill points. Uh, yeah, definitely sounds like something you'd see on a skill tree, so... We also get to take a look at the physical box art, which is quite nice. I really like the art they used here. Um, we've already seen this art before. This was revealed on the Sonic Twitter a couple weeks ago. So, the next-gen versions are free of charge. You do not have to pay for an upgrade. It is 60 bucks flat, which is nice. There were people saying that it was confirmed to be $70. No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. I don't know why people were worried about Sega charging $70, because they have not. There is no precedent for Sega charging $70 for anything that isn't a digital deluxe or some type of deluxe edition. Every base game they've released pretty much in the last like 10-15 years has been $60, unless it's like some smaller title, which is like 40 or 30. So, yeah, any big AAA Sega game is generally 60 bucks. So, yeah. PS4 box art says PS5 upgrade available, which is nice, so it is completely free to upgrade to PS5. Let's go over to the Sonic Frontiers website real quick, which has a little bit more information. So, obviously there's some screenshots, all these have been out before, none of these screenshots are new if I'm not mistaken, maybe like, actually no, that one's not new. This one might be new, I don't know. Um, so yeah, quickly talk about the Digital Deluxe Edition. So obviously the pre-order bonus is for both, but the Explorer's Treasure Box is only Digital Deluxe, and it's Amy's Memory Tokens? I don't know what that is. A Portal Gear? Also don't know what that is. Chaos Emerald Vaults? Again, well what is that? And additional gloves and shoes for Sonic, that is obviously just customization. And also it says additional, so it's not like that's exclusive to Digital Deluxe, you can probably still get uh, customization options in the base game. And a digital art book with a 25 track digital mini soundtrack. That's Digital Deluxe exclusive as well. Which, that's fine honestly. I don't need a soundtrack or an art or a digital art book. Honestly, they should just do a collector's edition. I, I would actually get that. But, you know, Sonic just doesn't get collector's editions for some reason. Like, Sonic Colors Ultimate got one in Japan, and uh, they didn't bring it over here for whatever reason. Yet, little tiny Atlas games can get $200 collector's editions, but whatever. Alright, so we literally just got some brand new news while I was editing this video. Yeah, while I was editing this video, we got news, so that's fun. Um, so, Sonic Frontiers pre-orders are now up at GameStop, I think Amazon, and Best Buy, and GameStop has an exclusive steelbook, which I think looks quite nice. It is actually different from that key art they showed us, so that's pretty cool. And there's also dun -da -da -da, Best Buy steelbook. So if you want both, you have to buy two versions of the game, so that's fun. But, I will say... I don't know which is better. I was originally looking at this one and saying, oh yeah, this one's so much better, but I don't know, like if they make the logo glossy and like the background matte with like more detail on it, I don't know, that would be interesting. Uh, honestly, I think I don't wanna give GameStop money, that's the problem, I hate GameStop, but this, their steelbook is quite nice. Um, I really hope there's no more news because I don't want to keep interrupting this video, but if there is, I will probably include it. So yep, back to the video. Let's go over to the PlayStation Network real quick to check it out. It doesn't really t explain what the, what the treasure box is in on the PSN store, but whatever. 
And as you can see, Standard Edition $59.99, Digital Deluxe Edition $69.99. So it is only $10 more for these little bonuses, so if you were going to buy it digitally, it's honestly not that bad a deal. Uh, you get some little extra stuff. Uh, you don't get to play it early, which I like. Yeah, I don't like when Sega had games like Persona 5 Strikers, which was a brand new game at the time. I don't like how that was locked behind a four-day early like play time. I don't like that at all. I don't mind ports being having early access, but a brand new game does not need to have early access. That's kind of unfair. So, yeah, um, that's pretty much it. I will say, the trailer in general I think is a definite improvement over what we saw from Forces in terms of like the general quality. I think the CG looks better, the the voice acting seems to be better, but I don't know. Uh, the, I think the level design from the cyberspace looks relatively similar, but I hope it's better. I wouldn't count on it though. Um, I don't think there's anything else. so. If you guys like the video, comment, like, subscribe. I've got a Patreon that you can pledge to if you'd like. And I also have a Discord where we just hang out and talk about games. So, with that, I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.